I believe the government should provide quickly a roadmap with clear and measurable targets to lift all restrictions within its purview. To be clear, I do not necessarily believe that all measures should be lifted immediately, but I do believe that we must have a clear and measurable benchmark for when measures will be lifted. As the truck convoy protest in Ottawa approaches the two-week mark, a Quebec Liberal MP has broken ranks, calling for the federal government to provide a plan to return to normal. Lightbound says he rejects the Confederate and Nazi flags and other hate symbols seen at the convoy, but says people are frustrated, especially as other countries lift restrictions entirely. Now, while folks are hearing and seeing all of this, they're left rightfully wondering where the hell are we heading here in Canada? Lightbound says he's told the PM what he thinks, and to back up his remarks, he's resigned as chair of the Quebec Liberal Caucus. We're all frustrated. We're all sick and tired of restrictions, of, of mandates, of having to, to make sacrifices, of not being able to do the things we love. Uh, it's been two years, and it's, and it's really, really tiring for all of us. However, Lightbound says he's not leaving the party and says other Liberals share some of his views, though none joined him in speaking out. Out. Senior cabinet members wouldn't comment on how many MPs might sympathize with Lightbound. We are a caucus that, that listens to each other and that there's plenty of opportunity for, for a, a wide variety of opinion within that caucus. They also couldn't say if Ottawa's appeal for 1,800 additional police and staff would be filled. Underlining the need, Ottawa police say an officer suffered minor injuries at the hands of demonstrators. Yesterday we had an attack on our hardworking officers. While attempting to seize fuel from demonstrators, multiple officers were swarmed by these same demonstrators. We've initiated a criminal investigation into this matter. Police add there's another wrinkle to any action they take. Through intelligence, we've also learned that almost 25% of the 418 trucks encamped in our city have children living in them. Children who could be at risk during a police operation. Police say they're in contact with Children's Aid to discuss options, but say taking children from families isn't something that's being considered. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.